Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Gothic. We're not on the main menu because I was trying to do some silly shenanigans earlier, and I can't. You can't get back to the main menu of the game once you've loaded a game. Uh, I've noticed, which is interesting. But anyway, here we are in the old camp. Um, we we've made we helped the chef here make his meat bug uh, stew. Oh God, what is happening? Okay. That was... Okay, I must have just been loading some stuff in. I don't know what was happening there. That was weird. Meat bug stew. Pure moral wind fair, yes. Well, anyway, we've made him some meat bug stew. We've actually got some meat bug stew as well. He gave us some. Right, there. Meat, meat bug ragu. Delightful. Oh, God. It's happening again. Game, stop. Behave thyself. Jesus. All right. Anyway, the gist of the story is we've been chucked into the colony, which is a large prison that mines ore for the kingdom. It's still doing it. What is this about? Gothic, why do you troll me like this? I've never played this game and not had some sort of weird, bloody technical issue with it. Today, it seems to be random stutter attacks. Suddenly, the game turns into a PowerPoint slideshow for three minutes. I, I... Can we not do this, Gothic? Can we just... Can you just work? I know you're like a turn-of-the-millennium PC game, and therefore getting you to work is no simple task, but for God's sake... Anyway... I'm going to stand out here. I'm just going to get out of the old camp. Places always cause me weird issues. Um, anyway, we got dumped to the prison. There's a big magical barrier surrounding this whole landscape here. Um, and uh, we, we have a letter to deliver to the circle of fire mages that live in the castle. Except you can't get in the castle unless you're one of like, the ruling warlord's dudes. At the moment, we're trying to join the said dudes by doing some tasks around the camp in order to get us noticed and, and, and what have you, or, you know, earn some brownie points, as, as our friend Diego over here put it last time, which still feels very weird to me. But whatever, the uh, the English localization of this game is an adventure in and of itself, as one of the commenters pointed out last time. Um... Yes. I should clarify something as well. When I, when I was talking about brownies being a thing in the last episode. I wasn't talking about the little chocolate cakey things. I was talking about the brownies, which are a, 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 a girl guide sort of Girl Scouts outfit here in the UK. And when everyone, anyone in the UK talks about brownie points, that's what they're referring to. So when Diego starts banging on about brownie points, I'm like, what the f... They have girl guides in Murtana, apparently. Okay, fine. That's what I meant when I when I was like, do they have, girl, they, do they have the brownies in... In, uh, in Myrtana. I wasn't talking about the cakes. Anyway. Meanwhile, the Polish localization is so good that it made the game very popular over there. Yeah, apparently. Apparently the German and Polish versions of this game are superb. The English version is uh, damn right comical at times, but hey, whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's have a look on our notes. Current missions. Vanished Guard. Spaff, the cook. Sorry, not Spaff. Snaff. It's just this font is terrible. <laughs> Snaff, the cook. Last saw Neck when he went to gather mushrooms. Maybe the diggers in the arena district know where Neck disappeared to. Okay, test of faith. Diego sent me into the uh, sent me to the old mine. I'm supposed to get the, a list from a guy called Ian. The list must be on a on no, must on no account fall into the hands of the new camp. Ian will give me the list if I tell him that Diego sent me. Uh, Graham will give me a map if I can find him on the left of the north gate. Okay. Cool. Uh, general info here as well. 
tutor in the old camp. There's fingers can teach pickpocketing. Diego can do strength and dexterity. Um, Scatty, the master of the arena, can teach me one-handed weapons. Yes, those are our skill trainers. Um, I have some skill points to spend because we did level up. However, I don't I haven't quite decided what I should spend them on just yet. So I haven't done so because I don't really understand the mechanics of the game at all. And they haven't been explained. I've played this game before, but it's so long ago that I've just forgotten everything worth remembering. Um, how do we get our character screen up? Player's status is B for some reason, probably because it, the word for it starts with B in German. Um, yeah, okay. Level 1. We have no guild, apparently. 10 skill points or attributes, 10 strength, 10 dexterity, 5 mana, 52 life. No protection against anything. We don't have any sneaking or acrobatic skills. We are unskilled in absolutely everything. Good. 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 I, I, I'm I, Do you know what? I think I'm going to get Diego to increase our strength. And you probably can't go wrong with that, right? Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got 10 skill points. So let's go strength plus 5. And maybe again. Cool, there we go. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Unskill everything. Explains how you got caught as a Check criminal, here. yeah. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so now we have 20 strength, which feels really good, but it's probably terrible. Probably still rubbish. I mean, 20 strength in D&D would be superb. But in this game, probably not so much. Admittedly, having 20 strength in an Elder Scrolls game would also be rubbish, so... Uh, I always wonder with these things. It's like 20 out of what? Out of 100? Out of 1,000? What does this do down here? Gravo. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. Uh-huh. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, He'll never talk to you again, and that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him, so you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore, and I take care that your ore gets to the right people. Okay. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You want to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. Mm-hmm. Good to know. I'm not going to remember any of that, but, you know, good to know. Maybe it got added to our notes. Doesn't look like it. I'd like to climb up this if I can, game. Please, please to be letting me climb up this. Thank you. Hey, yo. Oh, boy. Are you now talking what? to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. 
They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Uh. Yeah. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care. I didn't yourself, even have ten kid. for him anyway, so. <laughs> Ball to around. He looks like he's from the swamp camp, this dude. I think the reason why RPGs do go a bit over no, overboard with the numbers is because uh, the higher it goes, the scale goes, the more granularity it offers, right? Um, it's why some tabletop war games these days have started using D10s instead of D6s. Um, like uh, the Silver Bayonet, for example, which is a game I'm getting into a little bit at the minute. Um, that uses D10s. They ditch D6s and use D10s instead because it gives you a bit more variation. You know, the the the, the scale has become larger and that give, therefore gives you more options. Um, I think computer RPGs like this go a bit overboard with the numbers. It's purely because they can, essentially. Because they don't have to... Because it's not a tabletop game where people have to remember rules and actually roll dice... They can just go mental with the numbers and um, and have the computer handle all of it. You know, obviously, like the, the the most extreme end of the scale of that is probably MMOs, where like you know a lot of your stats are measured in the thousands. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods, and you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the Sleeper will lead us to freedom. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Enos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, <laughs> you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. Hey, if you take our drugs, you'll be able to hear our god. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the Sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the Sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? 
I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? That's none of your business. Fine, man. I just wanted to help. Uh, right. Okay, so that sounds like an alternate uh, way of getting into the castle by joining the swamp camp. Um, I think if memory serves, and it's been a long time, but if memory serves, I think he can actually take you to the swamp camp. Only problem is that every time I tried to do it in the past, I'd get murdered by the wildlife on the way. Because he just he, he drags you through some areas that are way too high level for you at this point. Yeah, we're looking for the map maker. I'm not sure where he is though. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? Yeah, we've already met his Fletcher, actually. His district is the district of the arena. I remember that much, yeah, because we've, we've been picking up clues about Neck for a little while now. So these Hispanic camp guards? I don't know, I guess it's just a thing. In this setting, there's lots of Hispanic names being thrown around. And why not, honestly? You know, normally everyone's got like a medieval English name in, in fantasy games. It's next to the North Gate, apparently. Um, let me check the notes again. Uh, no, that's not it. Left of the north gate, okay. Left as you come in, I suppose, not left as you look out. So that would mean he's over here somewhere. Hello? Hey, you! Sorry. Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. <laughs> yeah, they don't like if you trespass. Naturally. It's not considered very polite. But there is stuff to steal in here if you really feel up to it. Of course, I don't have any lockpicks right now, so I can't really do much with that. Polishing your mug does not sound like threat intended. I don't know. I mean, I'm from I'm from England, and by mug over here we mean your face. So polishing your mug, gonna punch you in the face. We talk to this guy up here. He might be worth talking to. Polishing it? Yeah, why not? I mean, people say clean your clock, right? Same same principle at work there. <laughs> How's it going, dude? How's it going? For you, you mean? Until you decide which camp you're with, nobody's going to take you seriously, kid. Alright, Mr. Guard. Oh, Christ. Ladders. Ugh. I still have not found this guy. Maybe he's not here this time of day or something. I don't know. Hello? Hi, 
Presse polaren is the German term for it, which is basically a one-to-one -one translation. I see. Well, there you go, then. There's your explanation. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's more spoons spawning. How many, how many spoons have we got over here now? I'm curious. I forgot about the, uh, the, the infinite spoons. Yeah, he's got a few. Right, I think we're going to rest until the morning. With the fancy... Whoa! Okay, we've got hammers as well. What is it with this game, man? What is... <laughs> I assume it's some of the mods I've got installed that's causing all this mayhem. I don't want to stand on the bed. Sleep until the morning. You slept well and feel better. Good. Hammer still there? Yep. There's been an NPC here, hasn't there, hammering at this loose board. That's what's going on. And for some reason it's spawning extra hammers every time they do it. Like, uh, like Snaff with his hey, spoons. Oh, here? Christ. I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Oh, God. No, Mud. Get lost. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. Oh, I thought Tell I'd escaped me, where mud. Where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. Let's see if we can get mud killed. Come with me, mud. Hey, you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. Well, oh one of God, them stole that guy's head is changing batteries. shape every time it's he finishes eating. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? This sounds like a scam of some sort. What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Uh, sounds like a bad idea, but all right. Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. It's just gonna recap on that, shall we? If there's one available anyway. I don't think there is. I, I can't remember what I've agreed to now. I was reading the chat. Damn it. Oh well. Save the game at least. I'm gonna do him grim. You gonna try and mug me or something? What's the deal here? Yeah, yeah, he's got friends. Here we go. So here we are, far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodwin. <laughs> don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. No, now it's not the time, mud. Fucking hell, dude. God damn. <laughs> Fuck you, mud. Ugh. <laughs> uh. 
What if we just attack Grim while we're on our way there? We'll take your stuff, Grim. I'm gonna murder you. Fortunately, he's slightly too fast for me. Git. Don't pay attention to me. I'll. He could just kill Mud instead. Put Damn it. Try that again, and you'll regret it. Now we won't actually die in the moment when this happens. Ore. I'll drink to you. They'll just nick our ore and then wander off. It's generally what happens with this. Well, they said plus one ore given, which is a bit odd. So here we are. Oh come on, We're really, game? Try that again, and you'll regret oh. it. <laughs> oh, this is such bullshit. Can I talk to him again? No, I can't. I can't change my mind. Apparently. Oh, gothic. Don't pay attention. Just my luck, they decide to ignore mud completely. I don't think there's any getting out of this, is there? I, I, all I can do is just decide not to follow him at this point. There's a scavenger. Right, let's see if you want to beat up mud. Sup, scavenger? Nah, he just runs away, the little git. Look at that running animation. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, is he running back into the camp? No, he's coming back. Fucking bastard. All right. At least the strength upgrade feels like it was worth having because I'm doing a lot more damage now. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? No, I don't, Mud. Should I kill Mud? I feel like I should kill Mud. I feel like I want, I want to kill Mud. What is up, scavenger bro? Time for you to die. Time to farm me some experience. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. So to get them to, oh. Are you looking for a quiet place where we can talk? Quiet place where I can stab you repeatedly in the head, perhaps. Yeah. <sighs> ah, more rats. Lovely. Hello, guys. Would you like to come and murder mud? Ow. Ow. I had a bit of a troll tick up there. Yeah, I'm dead. How did you miss that gothic guy? What the hell, man? What do we got here then? A potion! A levitating potion, no less. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean. I could just kill him right here, right now, in the cave. I could tell everyone that oh, the mole rats got him. Nobody would have to know! Oh, unless he just does that. How come I can't do a sprinting running away animation? This is real fun. Thanks for taking Seems very unfair, honestly. What's this then? Let's eat this plant. Just nom it straight down. 
fresh out of the ground. Son of a bitch. I've gotten used to you already. We're a much fun together. I'm sure of that, aren't you? Where do you sleep anyway? You can come to my place, no problem. <sighs> I mentioned this last time. He's like Nuber in Baldur's Gate. And obviously the adoring fan in Oblivion. I don't know why video game developers like to do this. Just gonna just torture our players for no good reason other than giggles. At least you can tell the adoring fan to go away. Grilled meat. Let's have some. There we go. Has, he, has Mud wandered off? Or is he going to come back in a minute? Seems to have left. I think if I get far enough away from the camp, he might bugger off. Just stab him. I tried, Deacon. I tried. He runs away faster than my running speed. I can get like one hit in and then he's off. Yeah, Mud seems to have like a bullshit sprint mode that I don't have access to. <laughs> Hello, mole ratties. Little mole ratties. Ooh, that was close. You miss time and animation in this game and you are fucked. But it's worth it for the blueberries and the mushrooms and the meats and the XP and all of it. I think this is something I'm going to do. I'm just going to do this for a bit. I'm just going to murder wildlife for a while. Although I imagine we're not probably getting that much XP from this. But all the extra stuff is worth it. Nom. I like the little animations that play when you drink a potion or eat something in this game. It's a nice touch. I've always found Gothic to be very, very immersive. That's one of the things I really like about the game. It's why it's stuck with me for so long. You can lose yourself in this game for quite a while. Hey, or nuggets, get in. Amulet of the Dead Guard. It says, We found Nick, everybody! Wow, I didn't even plan that. We found Nick. Nice. Totally by accident, just through random exploration. Love it. It's a wee bit jank, it's for sure. But uh, it's one of those things where you have to adjust and, uh, to, and adapt to the jank, and then once you've done that, you're good. Yeah, char charming jank, like stalker, exactly. I really need to just reinstall two worlds, actually. I've been thinking about it constantly since I mentioned it in the previous stream. But I, I freaking love Two Worlds. That's another quality slice of Euro jank. I never played the sequel, though. I have to admit. I don't know if it was any better or worse. That thing looks nasty. That thing looks like it's going to murder me. But 
since I can quick save, why not give it a go? Hello, lizard thing. He's actually he's literally just called a lizard. Nice. Good grief. Oh, I had a little help from the guard there, but still. Can I not loot this thing? I guess not. What a shame. Uh, current experience 1390. Next, next level is 1500. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, stuff. We like this. I like stuff. What have we got? A picklock, beer, and another torch. Should I be collecting torches, by the way? V Gothic veterans. Should I be... Is this one of those games where I should be like grabbing every single torch I can lay my hands on, like a, like a like oblivion? Or are they not worth it? You need a skill to loot height. Oh, yeah, the, you're right. The hunting skills, right. That's what I need. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Hey, you. I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Thank you for that, Mr. Gate Guard. Surprisingly public spirited, these criminals, aren't they? Right, well, anyway, we found Neck. Got his necklace. But um, Tish. And, uh, might as well go deliver it to what's his name? Sly? Was it that? Was that it? Sly? I think so. Oh, God, not this again. Every time we come into the old camp, we have to put up with this, apparently. Spaff is the chef. Sly is the good dude who wants us to go find Nick. Well, I guess Spaff wanted to... Well, mention, he mentioned Nick, but he didn't really care about whether or not we found him. We were supposed to come and ask around the arena, weren't we? Yeah, there he is. Look, man with the hammer. I was right. Gothic guy's tone, the kind of Loki reminds you of Mark Mears, male Commander Shepard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very similar. Speaking of Mass Effect, I watched Inanda play the the end of Mass Effect 3 the other day. Which is the first time I've seen it since I beat the game myself when it came out. Yeah, brought back some memories of disappointment, that did. Is this Sly here? Yeah, here we go. It's this Ron Pelman looking guy here. I found Nick. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on Hey, Here you nice. Go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. Shit, Sly. Nice. I tell you what, man, this game, unlike any other, makes you punch the air when you get a level up, I swear. <laughs> oh, man. How many skill points have we got? Another 10. Oof. Right, okay. It'd be nice if the game told me what dexterity did, because uh, I don't know whether to just go another, you know, just go straight to 40 strength now, or whether I should think about adding some dexterity. 
Dex equals bows. All right, I don't really give a shit about bows, if I'm honest. Unless maybe I should give a shit about bows. I imagine they're a good tool for aggroing stuff. But, um... I kind of feel like I mostly just want to go with melee combat. Also consider if you want to be a mage. It's one of those games where it takes a sweet time to start giving you some levels. I mean, not so much, really. We've leveled up twice in what's really not been an awful lot of game time. But it just, it makes you feel... The, the thing is, Gothic has always had really stupidly good progression. Like, you start off as just the most pathetic weakling possible, and by the end of the game, you're a god. Um, so when you get a level up in Gothic, it feels really good, because like it actually f solidly feels like it makes a difference. How old is this game? It's from 2001. I might want to invest in a bit of lock picking actually from fingers because that could be a bit useful to get our hands on some extra loot. But I think for now I just want to suck less at combat, so. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Lock picking can net you massive or yeah, I bet it can. Um, yeah, more strength. Strength forty. I want about a one Your hit strength stuff. Strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. Yeah, there we go. Or oh, strength thirty actually. Interesting. Did we only increase it by five? Each time there. Yeah, we did. Sorry, I don't know why I thought it was... I don't know why I thought it was 10. Anyway, strength 30. That's good. I'm going to go smack a scavenger in the head and see how much damage it does. <laughs> Is what's-his-face still here? Or is he wanted? He's standing over there by that campfire. Yeah, I'm not going over there, mate. Not until I've increased my strength a bit more, anyway. What's that, a tumbler? I wonder if I should pick up those random bits of junk. Maybe they're worth something. Probably need some armor first. Yeah, armor is a thing. We definitely need some of that. I know there's a trader in the camp. We've not been there yet, but I remember it. Problem is, I've got bugger all when it comes to ore, so I might need to sell some stuff. But that's right, we're collecting plenty of random crap. Having the guy take you to the swamp camp is a great way to get a bunch of XP. I've never survived the trip to the swamp camp, though. Every time I did it in the past, I'd just get murdered. There's like, if, uh, he takes you out of here, if I recall, and he takes you off down that path that way. And then right down at the end of that path, toward those trees at the end there, there's a bunch of like dinosaur things. And they just fucking murder you. Hey, you! Oh, not you now again. Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten ore and you're in. What do you say? See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. <laughs> That's what I say. See ya. I should go. They went, uh, the, the, there's a new camp guy. I know I know what you're thinking of. There's a new camp guy in here as well who can take you to the new camp, and he goes out the other gate. But uh, Swamp Camp dude takes you out that one, I think. I think the trip to the new camp is a bit more survivable. We might try that, actually. <coughs> Although for now, I'm going to go try and find the trader, see if there's anything I've got. Worth selling to him. So I need some armor. And a better weapon wouldn't go amiss either. Actually, in fact, didn't I pick up an axe somewhere? Yeah, with an axe. In fact, I'm, I think I'm going to equip it. Seems like a better choice. Hey, man. I'm Fisk. 
I man. Of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. Maybe. We're watching you, scum. Uh oh. Attack of the stutters in the middle of dialogue. This Have is you got good. armor for me as well. Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Take his trousers, protection weapons, 15, 5, 5. 500 or? Light digger's trousers. 250 freaking or. Okay. Show me your goods. Alright, so he's got 200. So you, the, the, when you trade in this game, it's kind of like a barter system. It's, it's pretty cool, honestly. It doesn't look like the coins have any value, which is interesting. Yeah, they don't. How do I go back over here? Yeah. Torches are worth two. Potions worth twenty-five. I think I probably want to keep those. That's worth. Grilled meat's worth eight. How much is the raw meat worth? Oh my god. Oh, game, why do you do this to me? I might have to join a different camp just because I can't put up with this bullshit. Raw meat is worth five. So you're telling me if I just take this meat and grill it, instantly more money. <laughs> Don't forget about smithing. Yeah, but I need, like, I need the ore to pay for the bloody training in the first place. Same with the hunting stuff as well. Like that's apparently really good for making money in this game, but you need to you need to cough up the ore in the first place to actually afford the training. Yeah, we've picked up a lot of consumables we could get rid of. Slaves bread's worth quite a bit. Yeah, if we chuck enough of this out of me, it will add up. We've got a lot of beer, too. Rice schnapps. You can have all my grilled meat. There you go. I really don't know if I should be re I should be selling healing items, but to be honest, I seem to be finding loads of them, so I don't think there's too much to worry about. Mean bug ragu is not worth very much, is it? <laughs> it's also not very good, it only restores nine life points. All right. Uh, No, I didn't want to. Uh. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. How do I? No, how do I switch tabs to the other side? Oh, this fucking user in the face. Give me about that one beer. I'm gonna keep it in case I need it for a quest. Can we stop with the stuttering game? I'd really like it if we stopped with the stuttering. It's really annoying. Sword. Farmer's defense. Lurker's bite. Thorn of wounds. Digger's discipline. That's pretty good. Expensive though. Is that all he's got? He's just got a bunch of swords and some ore. As long as I'm not I think I'll just take the ore for now. Oh, right. If you control, control and then shift, you can... Ah, there we go. Yeah. Let's just get our 130 ore for this. As soon as the game stops stuttering again. What is with that? It wasn't doing it that, that last time. At least I don't think it was. Right, how do we finalize this trade here? Can I just press enter? 
There we go, accept. Okay, we've got 130 ore now. I think I'm going to take that and I'm going to get some hunting skills. Invest it. How many jumps can I chain together? <laughs> He's trying to swim in the air. I like the I like the I like the flailing arms, it's very funny. It amuses me. There goes the new guy leaping all around like a loon. Hello, dudes. I think it's Drax you want to speak to. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. More than if a you beer. Know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get at least every. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Skin reptiles. Remove claws. Remove fur. Remove teeth. Uh, I don't know where I should go with, really. I could get teeth and claws. Or maybe fur is better. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would pay me the most, really. Let's just get, you know what? Let's just do claws and teeth. You need more Oh, experience. you need Otherwise, skill points as well. Not. Fuck. All right, never mind then. <sighs> right. Okay, then. How much more experience do I need? That's okay, yeah, I gotta kill a few a few monsters before I can get. <sighs> Alright. Do some quests maybe. I don't know, Django. I was talking about this earlier. I was like, I don't know what like I have like thirty strength out of I don't know what. Guys, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to fight the stupid scavengers. Give it a rest. I'm close to being able to, being able to one hit these guys. I'm liking it. I need your meats so I can trade it for ore. I'm going to take this random tankard. I want to see how much it's worth. Tumbler, sorry, not tankard. It's superb. That won't happen again. People always talk. That's not much of my problem. Apparently, tea, trainers teach up to 100, but you can further boost them with potions and items. I see. That's really not my problem. Hello, Fisk. Maybe. Show me your goods. Alright, how much is he going to pay for this little tank tumbler? Four. You know what? It's free money, basically, right? It's, it's, it's free. Show me your goods. Oh, I fucked up that, didn't I? Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, I'll just I'll take a couple of ore. Thanks. To 
yourself. People don't need to know about it. Water bucket. I'm not sure. I can't do anything with that, apparently. Same old. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The guru. Oh, you could point actually. Yeah, I've got a ton of spare weapons I don't need. <laughs> they want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions, but now it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. Ah, uh, this is the guy who can take you to the swamp camp. Nah, not interested right now. I bet scavenger tastes all right, you know. It's probably like a giant goose. Show me your goods. Weapons. Here we go. They're actually not worth that much, are they? Oh well, better than nothing. I can hold on to the arrows for now. I don't know how scarce they're going to be. Um. Am I really only getting 14 for that? That thing's valued 12 by itself. Been ripped off here. Oh well. Oh god, here we go again. I'm going to need to Google a fix for that at some point, if, if such a thing exists. Every time I've tried to do troubleshooting with this game in the past, it's been I've, I've been met with nothing helpful at all. Google has failed me every time I've... Because I used to have a, a slightly different stutter issue in the old camp um, back in the day. And I was never able to fix that either. Do you think it's when shadows move? Really? See, because the interesting thing is, the shadows were moving no problem in the previous stream, weren't they? I remember watching it happen. Today, though, for some reason, it's not happening. Probably, you know what? You know what? I blame Windows updates. I think that I think I installed the Windows update since last time. How often have I told you bastards not to run through my hut? <laughs> What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate them. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. <laughs> Bye, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, Queen, like you just said, the, the, the second door was not his idea. <laughs> that got added by someone else while he was away. He posted that before he said it. Ah, oh, well, there you go. You see? You see? The game was one step ahead of you. It was like, ah. I know what Queen's going to say, like, 21 years from now. Okay. Well, we've helped Sly. Who else should we be helping? I still haven't found Graham, have I? It's supposed to give me a bloody map. I 
Fingers will speak in my favour of me when I learn one of his thieving skills. Right, that's easy to do. I just need to get more skill points from levelling up. And we've done the thing with Sly, so there's that. So right now I need to find Graham and also just level up, basically. Okay, alright, well, just quick save here. I need to go to the loo, folks. I'm going to have a quick break here for a moment. Intermission, everybody. I'll be right back in like five minutes. Um, and yeah, then we'll, we'll go try and find this map maker, dude. BRB. Bonjour, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Marvelous. Hang on a minute. Okay, never mind. I thought for a minute that I could control the game with my gamepad. That would have been weird. <sighs> right. Trying to will yourself into playing more Dominions 5. Utterly unforgiving of mistakes. Have you ever tried uh, Conquest of Elysium? It's like a, a, a slightly more forgiving, slightly more simple Dominions, made by the same people, but it has more of an RPG focus than, than strategy. I love Bear Dominions, although I've forgotten everything I used to know about the game at this point. I'd have to relearn it all. Although I, I do have the big um, printed out version of the manual on my shelf there. Which is worth getting, if I'm honest, actually. I, I actually paid for the, for the paperback copy of the big, fat, gigantic manual slash guide to the game, and it's actually pretty damn useful. Chances Xmas gift finally arrived. A you hero forged an Argonian thief she played as in the, the Elder Scrolls. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yep, I, I used Hero Forge to get a little uh, Vera miniature from Neverwinter Nights. Oh, look, floating hammers, dude's at it again. Right, let's try and find this map making guy. This game really needs an auto run button. I don't suppose it has one, does it? Doesn't seem like it. 
Oh well. Oh yeah, I forgot you can go in first person, sort of. Although it just seems to be stuck in Gothic guy's neck right now, which doesn't really help. You know, it occurs to me that I'm not even sure if this is the North Gate. Maybe. I don't have a map yet to find out. I've been running around here looking near the North Gate for this dude. Oh no, here he is, finally. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? This is a 10 out of 10 camera angle right now. Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. I'll pay for the map. Here, take the ore. Okay. You'll never get a map like this that cheap, believe me. All right, we have a map. Uh, M key? No, of course not. Or is it just an inventory item I have to use? Or maybe it's in nodes? I don't know. Writings, yeah, here it is. All right, there we go. Old mine is presumably the big orange cross. And we are there. It doesn't seem like it's a complete map of the area, right, either, is it? It's He's just given us, like, the bare minimum to get to the old mine, and that's it. <laughs> Bastard. Tore it off the big map. Yeah, that's what 20 euro will get you, chum. Enjoy. You pay for two-fifths of the map. I, I give you two-fifths of the map. Alright, well, map acquired. Now all we can do is run around trying to level up, I suppose. Do I want to try my luck with these guys over here? Probably not, but let's get do it anyway. Blueberries, there we go. I like the way he wiggles from side to side when I do this. Put the damn weapon away. What if I don't want to, Grim? That was lucky. So here I'm to sin. Okay, now he's got tons of health. Don't try Although, I got him! Again. I got him! <laughs> uh, yeah, fuck you, Grim. You don't even have ore on you. I don't. I thought I had some. But I guess not. Or well, they just didn't find it. Well, Grim. Have we learned our lesson? You'll be sorry for that. Game. Can I pick up my axe, or is it? Oh, I dare you. Bet you. I bet you what. I've picked up the axe, but it's the same bug with the spoons and the hammers. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you of all people is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, what? I don't dislike you. So why do you think? Peace or further fighting? I didn't start a fight with the guards. I'm... Whatever. Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. 
if you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some, after all. Um, what? Okay, game is just... I don't know what's happened. I just have a black screen now. <sighs> game over. Yeah, we got... We've... <laughs> You are not allowed to befriend Grim. Uh, Alright then. Thanks for that, Gothic. Ugh. Alright, it's going to take me a hot minute to get out of this now. There we go. Ugh, Gothic. Why are you so... Ugh. I might try and reinstall the game, I don't know. Back up the saves and reinstall it, try again, see if I can get a slightly less balked version of the game. But vanilla's always been a bit balked for me on this computer anyway, so it's sort of like, yeah. Oh, this probably hasn't saved my quick save, has it? Nope, it hasn't. Unless we're, well, let me load into a game and then try and quick load. There we go. Hallelujah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Like, the mods fixed some issues for me, but then they seem to have introduced other issues instead. So I don't feel very much better off, honestly. All right, Grim. Are we doing this again? No, what am I doing? I don't want to be in here. I want to be in here. There you go. So here I'm to see. Draw it. Draw your weapon, Gothic guy. Come on. This is not going to work, is it? Come back here, Grim. I'm having you. Don't try that again. Ugh. Are they going to rob me this time? Sure. No, apparently not. You don't even have ore on you. Get up, gothic guy. Come on. Oh, where's he gone? Wooden spoon. The best weapon. Seriously, where's Grim? He's just fucked off. Okay then. Well, never mind. He might have gone into the camp here. Maybe we'll run into him later. I don't know. Do you know what? That's just I'm not gonna use healing items, let's just go rest. Really, dude? Oh no, no, not now, mud. Fucking here, hell, anyway. dude. Do you like animals as well? <laughs> They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. Also, yeah, I, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear that mud. Okay, I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna <laughs> chase Grim back outside again. Come back here, you bastard! 
All right, fine, guys. I'll put my weapon away. Just so you don't get offended. Now I can take it back out again. Grim, you son of a bitch! Get back here! Ugh. Oh, fuck off, mud! Put the weapon away! Put it away! I don't have a weapon out, you idiots. He's out of <laughs> Never do that again. You sure showed him. Quick loading. I'm gonna start this entire disaster all over again from the start. the damn weapon away that was lucky so we're just no get, get your don't try uh. that again shit he hasn't even got any ore on him get up Am I frustrated right now? Just a little, just a, just a wee smidge. All right, Grim, you piece of shit. You're looking for trouble again. So you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. So yep, okay. that was your person. Peace. I'm glad if you ever. Fuck a duck, all right. Maybe I won't get ambushed by mud this time. That'd be nice. He did this because I didn't play it, pay blood, blood, blood win or whatever his name is. Oh, is that why? I see. So if you do pay for the protection money, it doesn't happen. All right, cool. Re Equip my axe. Okay, I'm just gonna go kill some wildlife for a bit. <laughs> Jesus, maybe I'll go to the, maybe I'll go to the old mine. I don't know. It's the only real real quest I have now, right now, right at the moment, is to go to the old mine, which is off this way somewhere. So maybe I'll just do that. Do we really have no money on us? Good question. I thought we did. No, we do. We've got 139 ore. For whatever reason, the game has just decided to glitch out and they didn't think I had any money on me, which is fine by me. It's nice to see the game glitch in my favor for once. So yeah, check out that scavenger's getting murdered by that blood wasp thing. The game fails the search check. Oh, is that legit? You just Having a laugh. Yeah, we gotta go through the forest here. You know, the place that the NPC specifically warned us not to go into. You know, it's like games like, yeah, you gotta go through here for your early game quest. Hell mushrooms. Shame it's not slaves bread. That seems to be worth quite a bit. A rare occasion of gothic showing you mercy, yes. Well, that doesn't look like fun. That 
That's where we need to go, though. Supposedly. I don't know, man. I don't know. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Hello, scavenger friend. I'm coming to get ya. Oh dear. Okay, might have bitten off more than I can chew here. We'll see. No, we're good. See, there you go. There's, 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 a, there's a sense of progression for you. When we first, when we started the game originally, no way could I have taken four scavengers in a fight. But now we can. It's a bit of tangible progress for you. So let's see if I can take this kitty cat thing over here. Still don't have any goddamn armor. It's amazing the way the game makes you work for just the most basic equipment in it. Oh wait, it's not a kitty cat anyway, it's a wolf. It just sort of looked cat-like from a distance. Well, like, apparently I can take one wolf, but two is is too much. Him just lying there with his mouth hanging open, like, Arr. Oh, maybe, maybe I can lure it over here. Hello, wolf. It's growling at me. Oh, bollocks. It's almost like water impacts or something. <laughs> you recommend doing both escorts before the old mine quest? I mean, yes. Uh, you're probably right. I mean, on, on, on one level, though, I, I really disliked that a bit because it just feels like super gamey it doesn't feel like a natural progression of what your character would do next but I mean the thing is at the end of the day it's gothic and you have to adapt to that kind of mindset because that's that's who the game has been designed for at the end of the day it's those kind of players You're kind of expected to think, think, think with that mindset, especially with the second game. Bloody hell! Oh, we're getting we're a thousand experience away from leveling up, so it could be worse. been this way but maybe there's something here to murder I haven't already I can see a scavenger down there for example truck sim yawn <laughs> orc leaf give thank you Here we go, Mr. Scavenger. Oh! I mean, I'm acutely aware of the fact that if I keep murdering these guys, that's less scavengers I can loot with the hunting skills later, but at the same time, I also do kind of need to level up in order to get said skills, so... I feel like it's a bit of a cash 22 at the moment. 
If I was playing more optimally, I would have gotten the hunting skills last level after selling a bunch of my stuff for ore, but never mind. An old sword and some blueberries. I'll have those. Guess we'll take the pickaxe as well. It's not worth much, but whatever. That. I'm assuming that's some sort of goblin. Yeah, I don't think the enemies respawn in this. They haven't so far, anyway. Goblin! My health is not looking very, you know, healthy right now, is it? Should probably fix that. Oh. Right. Nasty sword. Don't think I can loot you for anything else, can I? No. Enemies respawn each chapter. Oh, do they? Let's see. Oh, here we go. Meat bug ragu. Nice wine. Mine crawler soup. Apples. Another meat bug. Who's this guy? Probably someone who was going to try and kill me. I'm like 50 50 on that. Either he's going to be like, hi, dude, thanks for saving me, or I'm going to murder you now, thanks to the ore. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. Where will I get a bow? Here. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Oh, nice. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? Uh, sneaking and bow level one as well. Okay, good, good, good. Show me your goods. Maybe it's worth getting a bow off this guy. Depends how much he wants for it. 40. Hmm. All right. I've scraped together 40 worth of stuff. Thinking the bow might be good for like, like I said, aggroing stuff, you know. I need to cook all this meat so I can sell it at a better price. Mine crawler soup, wan. Forty-two. Right, you give me a couple of bits of ore and we'll call it even. How much do pick locks cost? Ten. Cheese, grab it. Alright. Nice. Oh, it has a bow now. Who knows if it'll actually be useful? Only one way to find out though, right? Okay, is there a what separate button for the bow or something? Uh, weapon space. Hmm. There, two. There we go. Brilliant. Thanks. Let's just quick save this, see if I can kill the meat bug with it. That was weird. Weird shadow on the ground. We got it, though. Oh, meat bugs give you experience, don't they? I'm just going to quick load, because I don't want to waste arrows on meat bugs, but... We should be killing the meat bugs. Yeah, the bow might be useful against enemies that, you know are tough enough to batter us in close combat, but we could still potentially damage from a distance, so. Bow accuracy is determined by distance and bow skill. 
And if the bow is fully drawn, I believe. Okay. Uh, and dexterity, I assume, just does, increases your bow damage. Yeah, come over here, Mr. Morat. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, don't don't kill the mole rat for me, you dick. You kill stealing bastard. Missed out on 50 XP there. God damn you, sir. Dude, just just loot the mole rat, for goodness sake. There we go. Ooh. A door. Oh, it's locked. Oh, I need to pick it open. I see. I'll just leave it for now. You like how gothic displays are equipped weapons? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Am I actually... I'm not actually hitting it, am I? There we go. Loot the bird. Gothic guy, loot it, please. Thank you. A very odd world. Yeah, I suppose. The camera angle is not really ideal, is it? You could do with it being raised up a little bit. So you can see what you're doing and see what the distance from the enemy is a bit better. Mouse doesn't do that actually. No, well, oh, yeah, we can a little bit with the mouse if we adjust it like so. But I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's a bit better. Yeah, good t good point there. I forgot about the mouse. I haven't been using it, so... It's not ideal for exploration, though. It'd be nice if it just... As soon as you drew your weapon, it would... If it switched. Really? But never mind. doodly doodly do. Willow. What's that? Another wolf, I think it is. Can I take Mr. Wolf by himself? Possibly. Shall I try my bow, actually? That might be a good idea. Hello, Mr. Wolf. I seem to be missing an awful lot, or it's just not doing anything. Oh, yeah, there we go. That was a hit. Oh, <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was confused because it looked like the arrows were hitting, but obviously they weren't counting as hits. Or Morrowind style. I can't I don't even have time to switch to my my, my axe. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Well folks, uh it is actually I've gone I've gone about 20 minutes over time actually. I was meant to stop earlier. So for today, we are done. Let's save this as game 4. It launched like a rocket into you, yeah, it did, didn't it? Um anyway, yeah, so that's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it. It's it's in spite of the silliness and some of the bullshit earlier. It's still good fun. Um I'm enjoying just wandering around, exploring the world and killing scavengers to be honest actually that's i'm having a good time with that how much how much xp am i on now yeah i'm making good progress as well killing random griblies does actually net you a decent amount of experience at least early on which is good uh so folks yeah i'll catch you same time tomorrow for more of this basically yep um five o'clock ish uk time tomorrow we shall continue slowly grinding to the next level and doing what this that and the other um i hope you'll join me for that if you can't no worries uh this will all go on youtube anyway eventually and if you've been watching on youtube thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you in the next one 
I'll probably put that up later in the week. Um, and yeah, have a good one, everybody. Toodaloo.